We are team 3. Our product is Stellar IoT, an IoT based fault detection for solar power systems. Our project has three steps acquisition of solar irradiance data, algorithm development for fault detection, and remote fault notification. For this, we use three platforms MATLAB Simulink, ThinkSpeak IoT platform, and Stellar IoT app. Outcomes of the project can be listed as the ability to identify open and short circuit faults with accurate fault location and SMS notification with real-time status update of solar PV system in Stellar IoT app. This product can improve the efficiency of solar PV system with immediate identification and notification of faults. MATLAB Simulink is used to build solar PV system model. PV panels are created using solar cells. Sensors are used for measuring panel voltage and current. Switches to create open or a short circuit fault. From workspace block for importing solar irradiance data from an Excel sheet. A MATLAB function block including fault selection algorithm used to generate either a open circuit or a short circuit fault. Another MATLAB function block is used for fault detection. Panel voltage and current are compared with the threshold values to detect the fault. The output from the fault detection block will be interfaced with the IoT ThingSpeak channel using ThingSpeak output block. The next stage would be ThingSpeak IoT platform. IoT is basically Internet of Things, which is the interconnection of physical devices embedded with software, sensors, electronic devices to exchange the data over the Internet and store that data over the cloud. ThingSpeak is the IoT-based platform to display the data in real-time and remotely to the users anytime, anywhere. Fields are there to display various parameters along with fault location and fault type. This channel could be shared with authenticated people or publicly. Faults of the system will be instantly notified to the user via an SMS alert. With the help of a third-part website called Twilio, the ThingSpeak now can send SMSs without having any hardware implementation. Some of the advanced features called Thing HTTP and Thing React has been used effectively to send SMS alert instantly to the user. Thing HTTP provides the API keys and configuration of the SMS, while the React function determines when to trigger the SMS alert by checking data of the fault type in every time new data is inserted. This is the mobile application that has been developed by our team which is also called Stella IoT. There is a main feature to notify a detected fault in the solar PV system along with other advanced support features as well. Fault identifier feature presents the detected fault type and fault location along with graphical representation of either the voltage of the module O, the current of the string affected by a fault. There are five extra attractive features in this Stellar IoT mobile application. It has panel location icon which shows the location of the solar panel using Google Map. Moreover, it has live weather option and can give update of the weather condition up to seven days. There is an important icon which is called for help where the user can get the contact information of emergency services like electricity, gas, health services all over Victoria. Additionally, by clicking the icon solar forecast data, the user can get information of all the live data of solar radiation all over Australia. Australia. By going into the YouTube icon, the user can watch our video demonstration on their phone. At last, by tapping about us icon, user can see the details of the group members of the project. In the video demonstration of Stellar IoT, three interfaces are working simultaneously with one another. MATLAB Simulink model with ThingSpeak interface, ThingSpeak interface with mobile application interface followed by an SMS notification. Initially, there is no fault, but on the occurrence of fault, graphical analysis would be presented on ThingSpeak interface, giving the type of the fault as short circuit fault on the mobile application, followed by an SMS notification at the particular time of fault, that is at around 12.34 am. So the result would be displayed as the fault occurring at string 2 and Module 3 of the PV system. So it is presented as 2 3 in the ThingSpeak interface as well as in the mobile application interface. A quick glimpse of the additional features is also seen in the screen of the mobile application interface. That is it for the project demonstration. Thank you.